I mean, um, <clears throat> hi. Hey everyone, my name is Autumn Mallard and welcome to my channel. If you haven't technically been here before, if you haven't heard my new song that just came out, Plenty More In Store. Go check that out, by the way, if you haven't. I am a artist, I'm a singer, uh, and also music producer as well. This is gonna be my first vlog on this channel. And I'm gonna call them Fall Forever because my name is Autumn, duh. But, you know, <laughs> I thought it was funny when I was thinking of it, and I was like, I'm cool year round, but I'm not talking about the weather. <laughs> but no, I am pretty, I'm a cool person, I, I, in my opinion. No. This vlog is gonna be about the NAMM show 2022. I have never been to the physical, real life, in-person NAMM show before, let alone been to California before. So that, it was a lot of firsts. I've also never been on a plane by myself. So it was a lot. It was a lot, uh, <laughs> a lot of firsts for me. So it was really cool. I enjoyed myself along with um, some of my other fellow students that won the NAM President Innovation Award, which is how we were able to go as students. And I enjoyed myself. Our professor is the one that told us about it. I never knew what NAM was until my freshman year of college last year. And I won it last year also, but I didn't get the chance to go to in person because COVID was still really bad at the time. So I just only got to see the on-demand virtual videos that people had made and put up on their um, site or on the app. So I didn't get to see what NAM really looked like in person until this year. So I went and I'm gonna just tell y'all about it. I, I, I have so much footage. Shout out to Cal for editing this video because it's a lot. Anyway, just, so I'm just gonna jump in, okay. First day at NAM. The first day, I had to get there a day early because we you know, had to get our badges for the event the three day event and um, kind of just get used to the whole event. Cause it was a lot. When I tell you, I thought it was one building. There are several different buildings as well as like three different stages um, of performances going on throughout the entire day, every day. Not even just the uh, stages. There are people that are performing on different areas. Just while, as people are walking by to go to a, another place or get something to eat. There are people just walking all around. And when I tell you, you're just surrounded by nothing but music. And I, I love that. I love that so much. Like I, there's no place I'd rather be. It was so fun. But yeah, so I got there, get to the airport. My parents were freaking out. Cause they, you know, they just didn't want me to like miss my flight or anything or get lost. And luckily when I got there, the gate was like right when I walked in. So I was good. And then I got on a flight by myself, by myself first time. And it was pretty chill. And then I met up with my professor and then my other two um, friends that were students also. And then we went to go get our badges then. Uh, fast forward, we got our badges and our friend Andrea, who didn't technically get the award, she got an internship at NAMM. Her friend, or whoever she was working with, I think, I'm not sure, I don't remember who. They hooked us up with tickets to this event called the She Rocks Award. And we got to go to that for free. Uh, I guess the lady gave her tickets away to us. And when I tell you, the first of all, the venue was so pretty in there and the stage was so, so pretty. And it was, the event was about celebrating women in the industry. And I think it was the, it was the something year anniversary of the event. And we were like, we had like perfect seats. We were kind of in the back, but it was dead center where you could see everything, the, the whole stage. And they gave a lot of awards to all of, a lot of women that uh, participated in the event as well as uh, performed. Here are some clips right now. It was crazy. Uh, I was like blown away. When I tell you, and like the sound, people that were running sound killed it. Like it sounded so good. I just, I, it was so fun. And even, <laughs> even uh, one of the girls was crying. Cause like there was a artist there that she loved. I didn't know any of these people, mind you. But there was a girl, an art, a performer there called, named Yvette Young. She was great. 
But Andrea literally cried. <laughs> she cried, met her, got, got a hug, everything. It was the full meetup and like she cried. And I thought it was so funny. It was so funny. Oh my gosh. She, I don't, I think she loved the girl. Cause I mean, I, I had no idea who this lady was, but she was great. Like I follow her now, but um, yeah, we just had a great night and then Nam started. Day one. So each day there was breakfast, which we didn't know about. We were kind of late to the first day because we were having trouble finding it. Because we, again, didn't really get used to everything. We didn't know, like there was so much to see. We didn't even know that there was a whole section for people that, um, you know, got had badges and everything for them to go and eat breakfast and um, listen to um, a live speaker um, talk or, or, or an interview. They were serving breakfast and there was performances and it was like a great way to start the day and then you're off into um, all the stuff there is to see at NAMM. And the first thing we did after the breakfast was see the floor. We saw the floor, the floor. When I tell you that was overwhelming, just look. Cause, goodness. Yeah, it was a lot. And you can check me out at the uh, DJ station. I was killing it. Yo, um, they need to hit me up. I'm playing. Don't don't do that, please. Don't hit me up. I'm not I'm not a professional at that. Producing, I'm getting there, you know. But DJ, I don't know how he was. That I I I love it though. It's very fun. Yeah, there was so much to see on that floor. There were sections for instruments alone, sections for pianos, sections for different types of synths. There was everything you could ever see ever in music. It was so much going on. And then also uh, throughout the day, they had seminars for at least for us to see for the students because we were part of the Gen Next program that way, cause we're like, you know, the next generation up um, in the industry. So we got to see a lot of different speakers talk about different things like copyright and just several other things, but we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, and then we went up to a couple floors in that specific main building and got to see the Yamaha stage. It was a lot, it was big. I didn't realize, like, it was a lot of, it was a lot of stuff too. And there were several performances throughout the day. So many, we didn't watch all of them because literally we're trying to, we're trying to cover so much ground as like as much as we can in the span of these three days. So it was a lot going on. And then along with that first day, we got to, because we won that NAM award, we got to meet with the press, the CEO of NAM, the all of NAM, Joe Lamond. I, I probably butchered that. I'm sorry. I think it's, I think it's Lamond, Lamond. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was very, very cool. Very fun. Um, and he was just super encouraging, encouraging all, you know, the next generation to, um, you know, work hard and follow your dreams and, um, you know, stay positive and just do your best. And he was, he was really cool. Then um, we met a girl named uh, Venus. Shout out to her, she's cool. Um, because we, um, I guess we're invited to this women empowerment thing where people have drinks and everything. Unfortunately, not necessarily unfortunately, I'm just underage. Like I couldn't drink, so I, <laughs> so I just had some orange juice. <laughs> But um, yeah, we met a girl named Vetus along with several other girls that were just in a group. Literally, we did not know who she was and we just hung out with her along with Gabby and Samantha. Shout out to y'all. Uh, we met them and we hung out with them for the rest of the night. We literally didn't know, we didn't know them at all. And they were so cool. Hit it off, like they were such cool people. And you know, while we're at NAMM, you know, our goal was to have fun and you know, see a lot of stuff, but as well, as well, along with that, you networking. So um, we met a lot of people and they were some cool women. I mean, period. So <laughs> they've been in the game. Some of them that, some of them that we met, but some of them are like in the game, like our age and, um, they, they're already like killing it right now. Killing it, okay? And then Venus, the, she was taking us all over the place because the main events, like, or the main buildings and venues that were for the NAM events weren't it. Like, that was at all. At different hotels that were close to NAM had performances going on in the hotels, along with, you know, food and little parties outside, wherever they had an outside area. I mean, and I'm thinking, oh, you need like a pass to get here. The girl was like, man, come on, just just trust me, follow me. I'm gonna be Yas mama today. 
And we were like, okay. And so, because we've never been in California, I don't know. And so she literally was like, just trust me, follow me. We walked into one of the hotels and they just let us in. No, like, I was like, are we, can, uh, nobody's gonna stop us right now? And we just walked in and it was so fun. I mean, literally even the whole, that, cause that specific hotel, even the people that were in their hotel rooms were like turning up. So, I mean, it was a night and we met a lot of people there, like a lot of cool people. And there was a lot going on dancing wise and all sorts of stuff. But we met a lot of people that were in the industry. I met a guy, shout out to Reg, Reginald, but Reggie, I guess what the, his, his name he goes by, made music, uh, some music for love and hip hop. I don't know, I think it was, I don't know if it was Atlanta or not, but that's, doesn't matter. It's, he still made music like stuff for it. And he worked on stuff for The Bachelor. Like that was cool. That pretty much sums up day one. And it was a lot in that in the span of that first day. I mean, God was not expecting us to do all that in the first day. So yeah, that was wild. And then day two hits, and you know what? We're prepared this time. Nam day two. <sighs> Me and my homies from um, SFA, we're like, okay, now we know where this breakfast stuff is. Let's go get some breakfast. Let's wake up. Let's go. And we got there, and. We got we got actually a decent amount of food that luckily we could because we got there uh, at a good time, and again there was performances and then a cool uh, speaker um, talking about stuff. And then once again that was that's part that morning part was over. We got to go explore more of Nam. And again, like I said, there was several people not just on the stages performing, but people that were just um, I guess in the walkways kind of where you can do where you're walking to a different place there there are people just performing outside he was performing like and he plays more than one instrument i thought it was so cool and the song is called say it with your chest that's what caught our attention the the best. Best. Say it with your chest. that was so fun so fun um and then later we went to more seminars for the gen next event we saw a lot of cool performances no but one cool thing it didn't click when they said his name but eric whitaker who composes great music for choir or choral music Music, was there and he literally did a whole performance with I think it was maybe 25 to 30 students on zoom and what he told us like it they told us about how he was gonna do it in advance but he had told the students in advance to not follow him because uh, based off where the students are at or as location wise the video might be delayed like milliseconds like I mean very few though, but like it might be slightly delayed. So he was telling them, don't follow me and what I'm conducting, follow what you hear. And they all did that. And it was it was pretty much in sync for the most part. I, I don't think I really heard a whole lot of delay. I could, but I could hear them all pretty much in unison. And it was just, it was Eric, not in unison, but um, together when they were singing. And it was so cool. I mean, that was, that was really, really cool. Cause I just didn't realize who he was until started just talking about himself and who he was for people that may have not known. Cause I know I've sang, I, I've most likely sung a song in choir by him when I was in high school. So I was just like, what? And so that was crazy. And then after that, we went to a Q and A he had where people could ask him questions and he is just so fun and knowledgeable. He's super, super fun. Then after that, we went and we found another building, a completely different building that had, um, I wanna say a lot more, uh, I guess tech savvy type of equipment in there. It was more uh, different brands in there, you know, showing off their mics or um, their uh, programs that they use. Just several things along the lines of when, you know, creating music equipment that you would use. As me and uh, Ayana are walking in there, one of those other students that won the award, I, at the corner of my eye, I'm like, is that who I think it is? And uh, <laughs> it was the guy, his name is Nasri, I believe is how you say it. The guy that's the lead singer in the band Magic. And I was, I was tapping my friend, I was, I was like, girl, I think that's the guy. And so I went up to him, oh, like slowly, I was not trying to startle him. I was like, excuse me, are you the lead singer of Magic? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, word? And, I was like, and I, we got to talk to him for a second and I was telling him I was so excited for his album. I can't wait for their album to come out. Um, it's coming out sometime this year, I'm super excited. But yeah, we got a picture with him and he was super cool. We ended up leaving a little later after we, you know, checked some more stuff out in that building. We saw some more performances on the Yamaha stage and then we had left and I think we might've hung out for a little bit in the hotel to just kind of relax. Then we went to some different hotels and there were more performances. So we saw a lot more performances at different hotels and they were really good. But some of them were just, I think one of the hotels was just really loud. And our professor gave us a heads up too. He was just like, 
no. <laughs> and and we, he was right. When we got in there, it did not sound, it didn't sound right. So, uh, <laughs> but there was also a lot of people in there. And I, I, I think, and there was a bar in that hotel. So a lot of people were drinking. So I don't know. If, Maybe they were just like, oh, this sounds great, but they don't, they don't, they're not super aware of what it really sounds like. I think they're just enjoying themselves, but it's okay. <laughs> we're all there for a good time. And then the last day, day three. Last day in M, day three. Oh. Last day in M. Oh. <laughs> Before we got back to the NAM building, we went and go, we went and wanted to try some breakfast. And so we did that. And that place was actually really good. I don't remember the name of it, but it was it was pretty good for what I got. And then we had discovered another building. I mean, it was just, it didn't stop. I, I kid you not, we were like, is this everything? Cause we, and we just kept popping up on stuff. And so we found another building and check some stuff out in there, it was really cool. Then before, uh, not before that, later um, later on, we our professor told us about a ukulele circle and we went to it and it was it was so fun. Shout out to Ukulele, Ukuleni, that's his uh, Instagram name. He is so funny, he was so funny. He was so, but he was also really, really good at explaining how to play it if you've never played a ukulele before because it was, you know, for people that are experienced or not experienced, you just pick up a ukulele and you can um, learn how to play. But you know what sucked was that it didn't suck. I still picked it up. I was pretty smart and put two and two together. For the majority of the people there, they're right-handed and I am left-handed. So I had to learn everything backwards. Uh, it was it was kind of weird. And I, I picked it up, but it like I just couldn't figure out certain chords because my fingers just in my right hand as I'm holding the frets didn't feel right. So. And one lady even came up to me. She was like, "Are you? I think you're holding it the wrong way." I was like, "No, I'm not." Because <laughs> I was like, "I just, I was like, I'm left-handed, so I'm just figuring it out." And so um, I figured it out eventually. Um, but it was, it took me a second. Later, we went to a seminar that our professor told us about, where we got to chat with them after. But we got to listen to people that were in the industry that make music for um, film and TV type of thing. And we met some of I forgot the lady's name but she made um, music for uh, Disney movies like um, Princess Protection Program. Can't think of it anymore, but that's just one off the top of my head. But I was like, no way. But then there was a guy named Chen Neiman. The only thing I remember was that he did, like one thing he mentioned that caught my attention was that he made a song for the movie Zombies 3 on Disney Plus. Disney Plus that just came out. And he said he made the last song in the movie. I was like, I, that was, so, when I tell you that was so cool to, to meet him because that's the stuff I want to get into. I want to get into, don't get me wrong. I want to be an artist myself, but I also want to make music for TV and film. So that was so cool that I met him. Yeah, I am going to for sure follow him like on his journey in life because he's cool. And he may even have some like tips on, you know, how to get your music out there, how to, um, get people to contact you and uh, stuff like that. You know, if you do make music that would be appropriate for kids shows or just film in general. But then as the last day was about to come to an end, as the NAM was about to just be over with, we were like, ugh, cause we were about to leave. We were about to leave the main building, but we were like, everybody was telling us about this painting, but it's a, not necessarily, it's a painting you can play on. So we were, we went to, we wanted to go, we wanted to go check it out and we did. And I played on it, check me out. Yeah, it was super cool. But then another little boy got on the piano painting and he started playing the We Don't Talk About Bruno uh, song from the movie Encanto. And we were, everybody was like, hey, cause everybody knew the song. And then another guy sat down and he started singing it. And we were like, oh, cool. And he sounded, he sounded really good. And we, and we didn't think anything of it. And then my friend, he wanted somebody to come sing the girl part with him of the very beginning of the song. And I didn't know it enough to go, I would have jumped in for sure, but I didn't know the song enough to be able to sing it. I just knew the, we don't talk about Bruno. Everybody knows that part. But my friend Ayana, she knew it. And so she hopped in there and the guy recorded it and like, you know, with her, like as they're doing the whole duet part. And at the very, just watch, at the very end of the video, he says this. And you hear me in the background, like sounding like Lil John, like what? Like I, 
He's from the movie. Cause we, when I tell you we thought nothing of that, we thought nothing of it. We were like, oh, he's cool. Um, and he sounds really good. This is fun. That is the voice actor of Felix from Encanto. And we took a picture with him. I mean, that was crazy. When I tell you every day, every day a Nam got better, like it didn't, like you would think, oh, it's gonna be cool for, no, it got better every single day. And so we were freaking out. <laughs> That's how the day ended. It ended with a bang, I kid you not. And we just went back to our room and chilled for a little bit and uh, kind of hung out a little bit for the rest of the day. I think we might have gone somewhere, but I don't, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, that was how Nam ended and then I went back home. I might go again. Um, I know this is, I said this is my second time getting the award, but um, we might be able to go again for a different reason, but we'll see, we'll see. Thank you everybody, thank you everybody for watching. Appreciate you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you like, turn on the post notification bell. And then also go check out the community section on my YouTube because I want you guys to vote on what what you thought of my new song, Plenty More In Store that just came out. Check out the previous video, which has the official audio of the song. And you can go also stream it on anything. Go stream it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, whatever you listen to music on. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have a good one. If we travel in time, but we can't make it back, will our memories